Hey guys, Technomentor here with a video for you guys. Today we're going to be reviewing the iOS 14 download and software on the iPhone 8 Plus that I have here. As you can see here, I downloaded and updated the iPhone 8 Plus here and we're going to take a look at it more thoroughly than just the feature of the iOS 14 to see how the iOS 14 functions with apps and everything running on it. If you guys are new to our channel, we do a lot of tech news, reviews, and giveaways. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, if you guys are looking to buy a cheap iPhone 8 or any of the newer iPhone, make sure to check out the link in the description that we will be including for you guys where you can score some really cheap iPhones. So let's go ahead and get started. So the iPhone update on the iPhone 8 Plus takes about... 20 minutes or so that it took depending on your Wi-Fi and how long it takes you to download but the thing is when you download it you're going to notice that it does take up quite a space here if I go here I have a 64 gig one and I'm down to 52 gig here after a couple of apps running and I don't have any photos or videos so that's one thing to note the other thing to note with iOS 14 is you're going to have a more couple of new features added such as the app library here as you can see here apps are organized in a different way than it has been done in the past you also have these larger app widgets that you can move around for example the calendar one as you can see here you can edit it and move it around as well so and then you can also stack them however you like it so that's another big feature of the ios 14 update also, you can check out more of the updates in other videos we have done with iOS 14. Some of the more notable feature, of course, is the picture-in-picture picture sort of um, feature, which allows you to get to watch videos or even be on FaceTime and simply um, do other stuff, which is one of the bigger ones that you'll be able to see. There's another one around being able to reply to specific messages um, when you are in a group chat. You're able to also pin conversation. There's a new translate app that allows you to translate uh, the default languages that they have selected and we're probably gonna have more later on. As you can see right now, here is the app. You're able to translate it. Works somewhat decent. You know, we tested it out and not bad. Also kind of to check out on this is you're gonna be able to set up sort of um, storage around the whole family using a single iCloud plan. Couple more features that you can look through it. But in this video, we're gonna take a look at to see how well some of the apps run here. So far to talk about the battery, the battery life has been the same even with the iOS 14 update. The battery, you know, I haven't seen any performance decrease with the battery usage um overall performance uh the browsing it's a little bit faster because with the new ios 14 update they enhanced the safari feature to allow you you to run faster javascript and since most websites use a lot of javascript it's pretty much a feature where browsing has increased on the safari the browsing speed you'll notice slightly increase not like whole lot but definitely a lot more and you the other thing you can do with and around browsing is that you can now select other browsers to be your default browser besides the safari one as you can see here i have chrome a lot of people use this chrome here as their default browser and you can change that by going into settings here and then if you go on to the safari app in the settings you're actually able to set as you can see safari is the default one you can sell it to chrome so that once you click on a link it'll open up chrome instead of safari which is another neat little thing that you can do same with uh mail you don't have to use the default icloud mail you can use some uh, third party mail as the default mail option so let's talk about the apps itself right if you look if you're a person that uses a lot of social media app you'll notice that most social media apps, you know, work fine. They're supported on iOS 14. I haven't seen any of the major apps not supported. As you can see, we're browsing through here Reddit, and it's downloading since it's the first time we downloaded on the app here. It's taking some time. If you use it for TikTok, it works fine. No issues with TikTok as well. Also, we have Facebook here. If you use Facebook a lot, it's working. There's no bug or anything like that. If you're moving on to, if you're a person who likes to use it for productivity, your Zoom, 
um, WebEx, Skype, all those productivity for video calls are working without any issue. Google Docs, all the suite from the Google Docs works fine. No issues there as well, so no impact there. Moving on to some of the other features such as gaming. Gaming-wise, your less heavy graphic games work fine. No issues there. As you can see, I opened up Subway Surfer, some of the more, you know, Plus popular games, no impact whatsoever on the game itself. They are working fine. Uh, and then if you're from your multimedia, you know, YouTube, no issues with YouTube as well. Video streaming works phenomenal. You're not going to notice any difference there. If you use it for music streaming, you know, Pandora, Spotify, Apple Music, all of that is working. Still no issues there, of course. So by default, most of the default apps are working. If you're using it for shopping, such as Amazon, or eBay, those are working fine. Your sports, you know, all these apps that you typically would have are working fine. No issues at all. So the iOS 14, I would say, you know, it's an app upgrade. You're going to have to do it sooner or later. And on iPhone 8 Plus, you know, it's not bad. It's uh, The performance been good. The battery hasn't been impacted. I haven't seen any sort of slowdown like Apple in the past have been accused of. So if you're looking to download it, definitely would go ahead and download it so you can get used to it and kind of make most out of the all of these new features, which, you know, sooner or later, everyone's going to be using it and talking about it. The other thing around is messaging is now you can search up the emojis here if you click on for example the emojis here which if you take a look at it of course you can customize your own one and let's go here switch between the keyboards you're able to search up for example party here if i search up all the emojis related to that which is pretty cool as well another thing you want to take use of but Overall, overall, we're gonna do more review in the in later on to kind of make sure that you know everything works fine, you know. But so far, at a first look at it, downloading this won't hurt your iPhone 8 Plus or any other phones that we recently did it for. We downloaded on other phones as well. And we're gonna be doing a lot more in-depth reviews to review iOS 14, even with some of benchmark testing and speed testing to really give you guys the real numbers. So make sure that that subscribe button to get those updates. And if this video was helpful, guys, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you guys can get a lot more updates and future giveaways that we are going to be doing. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys in the next video.